Saving your game progress is always important, especially in some of the older games where losing a life will send you right back to the beginning of a level. With SNES 9X, the Super Nintendo emulator, there's a fair few ways in which you can save your game, and today we're going to talk about them. There's three ways of saving using this emulator. One is the original and more traditional method of using save points within a game, and another is using save states to save at any time. There's also a third method, and that's through relaunching the game at the point you've closed, SNES 9X. The most basic method of saving is getting to a point in the game where you can save and going through that particular game's save screen. What this will do, when you go into the SNES main directory and go to the saves folder, it will create a file with the name of the game and end in .srm. You'll notice that these SRM files, even if they were one character different in the file name, would no longer work. Also, if you've downloaded a save from somewhere online, remember it must not only be the same name, but it also must be from the same region due to compatibility. Save states are a convenient method of saving games at any time, using the hotkeys that you've assigned to them. These files will end in a range of .000 to .009, depending on the save slot that you've given them. Just hit the hotkey that you've assigned to create the save state. Now that that's done, I'm going to restart the emulator, and if I press the hotkey combination again, once the game has loaded, it should return back to the point of save. These save states will then always exist until you overwrite them or delete them. They're also especially useful for those games where there's a long period between save areas. The third way to save is by using the OOPS or .oops file extension in the SNES 9X saves folder. This file is automatically created or overwritten if one already exists by the system every five minutes or when the emulator closes unexpectedly. To load from it, launch the game, go to File, and then Load Game Position. Do not press the Oops File option, as it will overwrite the existing file that you want to load from. Instead, with SNES 9X closed, make a copy of the Oops file and change the extension to something similar to your save states. .001, for example. Make sure that no other save state has this file extension though, just to be on the safe side, and so the emulator doesn't overwrite it. Once you change the file extension, an archive should be created, so just load back up SNES 9X and the game. Then go to File, Load Game Position, and then come down to Select File. Find the archive and then confirm your choice. SNES 9X may overwrite the OOPS file at this point so I would recommend making a proper save state or an in-game save as soon as possible. Remember, if it doesn't work, you have created that backup. You just need to take off the word copy in the file name to make it compatible with the game again, and then try the method again. To summarize, use the traditional saving method for what we're gonna call long form saving. End of missions, after each unlock, things like that. Use save states as backups for your long form save, but also to save at any time within your game. But remember, these saves are limited. And finally, use the temporary save, the oops file, to get yourself back to where you were in case something goes wrong, such as a system or an emulator crash. So that was just a couple of ways that you can save your games using SNES 9X, the Super Nintendo emulator. If you found this video useful, feel free to share it with anybody else you might feel is having some trouble. Drop the video a like as well, and if Super Nintendo is your thing, there's more guides to SNES 9X on the channel, covering everything from setting up the emulator, activating cheats, and even playing online.